Welcome back to the Innovation Series. I'm joined here today by Christoph Niendorf, the Sales Director for Vineland. Christoph, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you very much for inviting us. Yeah, there's been a, a very large increase in, in the demand and, and the expectations around security and cybersecurity on board vessels. And I know that Vineland's been making some, some innovations in this field. And could you maybe tell us a little more? Yes, our innovations in, in general are, yeah, are led by the IEC and some, some organizations for shipping, um, especially for cybersecurity and protecting ship networks. We have um, yeah, used the IEC standard for cybersecurity, the IEC 61162-460 which was published already in 2016, 2017, and Vineland was globally the first manufacturer who has type approved a hacker, a gateway and an Ethernet switch for this, for this, um, yeah, for this IEC standard. And for more than two years, Vineland was the only manufacturer globally who had such a hardware type approved. And this brought us yeah, far ahead to the market and many, many shipyards and customers, ship owners, has contacted us to integrate these solutions. Um, the same solution is also integrated in navigation equipment manufacturers. And um, yeah. Yeah, so there's, this is technology that's been pioneered and developed across many sectors of the market. Yes, this is our idea to be um, a manufacturer, a developer for niche products. We want to go into niche markets where no one else is currently located. Of course, this requires a high knowledge of uh, education in our development as well as high flexibility because they could not develop the next five years or the next 10 years the same product. So all our developers have to, yeah, to mix and have to be very flexible to bring new ideas, to bring new products to the market. And even they have to be fast. So if we are the second or the, the, the sixth company who has this product, then there is a very high market pressure. And yes, we want to be always the first to bring some new innovations to the market. And once there are some, some further manufacturers who already go also have the same product, we already think about the next products we could bring to the market. And then we, we reduce the developments of these systems. You mentioned some niche markets. Could you give us an example of, of some of those niches you've identified? Yes, of course. Um, one, one niche market was the example for the gateway and the Ethernet switch, where we were for more than two years the only manufacturer in this market. Um, we have some other products. We are especially for the high resolution pictures. Um, Vineland is um, also one of the first companies who develop um, yeah, DVI or display port, high resolution video extenders, KVM switches, and all these systems for the video systems. And also another niche market is the yeah, combination of all the different um, yeah, converter systems, converter units on board of ships, especially um, Rhineland. Um, yeah, since the beginning or since founding in 2006, we are developing also different kinds of interfaces, converting, as an example, temperatures to Ethernet, but also the opposite way, Ethernet from, or from Ethernet to analog outputs, to digital outputs, that you are able to unify all the signals on board the ship, but you are also, with, if you have everything as Ethernet, um, you're reducing cabling, you're reducing engineering work, you're reducing the, the service technician work, and our idea is that in the future, um, the, yeah, the knowledge for engineering and for, for service electricians or for service technicians is reduced in the field of installation, but we see a very high increase of IT technicians on board of ships. One, one very famous example is um, the USB stick on board of ships. Mm -hmm. So the, um, the, the, the captain is having his own USB stick with his pictures from his family back home and he wants to show these pictures to his friends on board the ship. Yeah. The service technician is coming on board with his own USB stick, um, putting the same USB stick to the same computer as on the, on the captain. 
Um, the chief engineer wants to uh, share some, some documents from his computer downstairs to the captain's computers as well. And this is a very high risk on board a ship. So the virus, mm -hmm. the Trojans and all these things could be shared around the ship. And uh, where we, we thought about it a little bit, how we could um, yeah, reduce these um, you know, potential risks was even to, to, to develop some further software updates for our gateway, for our type proof cybersecurity gateway, that this gateway is always looking, or is, is the gateway between the, the actors on board the ship, between the um, yeah, chart servers or between mm -hmm. the, the communication computer on the ship and a remote station somewhere here in the cloud. And this gateway is always automatically downloading the latest publications, the latest charts, the latest documents to its internal storage. And with the connected devices, like an Actis, you're able to connect to this device without using USB sticks to download the latest charts. With the captain's computer, you're able to connect to this gateway to download the latest publications. Um, but with the same hardware, you're also able to, to upload, um, I don't know, ship performance data to this gateway and the gateway automatically controls to upload to secured a cloud server or server in some offices. And this will um, a, a big possibility to reduce the usage of USB sticks. And also this gateway has an internal um, DMZ inside where you also have a possibility to connect a USB stick, but then before you are able to open this USB stick, you can run virus tests and all these things, and only the captain can open it using a password. Sure. So it, it removes that potential weak point in the system where things can come in and, and centralizes it all in a much more secure way. Yes, that's absolutely. And um, this is only one possibility. There are a hundred of other possibilities to, 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 to share a virus around the ship, uh, like emails and all the other things and uncontrolled opening of emails or attachments could be another thing. And therefore we have um, a storage inside the gateway that the, the office, the owner's office or the, the manager's office are able to share the documentation with this gateway. And then from this gateway, you could download with virus tests and all these things to avoid sharing here. Yeah, unauthorized programs of ownership. And so with Vineland system, with the, the, the hardware and the integration, uh, you have complete control and security over, over all of that information flow on and off the vessel. Uh, this is, the, this is the, the, in the end idea. So this is the total idea that we will have this gateway, this um, centralized solution of ownership as, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, as a standard. And all who need to share some data from the ship to a remote station could use this central point. But there is also a possibility the remote service, the remote maintenance, provide service companies um, logging in over this gateway to the actors, to the radar, to the automation to check which spare parts the service technician has to carry on for the next service to have, um, yeah. To, to make a one-stop service job. And like to predictive maintenance. Yeah, and all these things. Okay, well, that sounds fascinating, Christoph. Thank you uh, so much for being with us and we look forward to seeing what's next uh, for Vineland. You're welcome, thank you very much.